What if you wanted to add a collection of arranged clips from your media storage to a project timeline all in one go in DaVinci Resolve 18.6.6? .6. Inside either your project's cut or edit windows, identify the media pool storage area. Right click on your media pool area and select new bin. Rename this directory as desired. Press enter and double click to open. Holding Ctrl or Command if you're a Mac user and press I to insert media clips into your project file within this particular bin that you've just created. Click on the master and bin labels towards the top of your window to change the directories that you see on screen. Right click inside the bin window underneath your media pool option and select create new timeline using selected bin. I will maintain the default settings in the create new timeline window before clicking on create. Note how the arrangement of these clips is in the same order as displayed in the new bin, with clip 1 followed by clip 3 and clip 2. What if you wish to rearrange the order of these clips before adding a new timeline? Click on the sort icon next to search. Here in the cut window I will choose clip name. You can also choose ascending and descending at the very bottom, so that these are all in order. Bear in mind the sort option will appear differently inside the edit window. To see a thumbnail of the timeline that you have just created, select the master bin option to find the timeline reference. Bear in mind a sort applied in one window, whether it be cut or edit, will not be applied to the other, such as here for example where the sort is ascending inside cut, whilst the sort in edit is selected as descending. Any additional added video or audio tracks will be left empty and all clips will be inserted onto the default first video and audio tracks. You can also create separate timelines inside the same project using clips from separate bin directories, such as timeline 2 being created here. And to switch between timelines, simply identify the thumbnail for the timeline that you wish to access and double click on this to reveal the relevant segment of your project file. To remove a timeline completely once the thumbnail is selected, hold in shift and press backspace. The timeline that will appear in the deliver window for rendering will depend on that that you have selected inside your edit or cut window, such as timeline 2 here for example. This will save you the time needed for dragging each clip manually from a media storage directory on your computer onto your timeline, as all clips from a particular folder can be moved to a timeline simultaneously. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video is useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.